part of what we need to do in this country, I mean, we know we have an issue with English language learners, but, but the problem with it, in my, in my view, it's always been a race issue. It's been about the poor brown kids that are struggling learning English. What I love about two-way dual language, and that's going to be our big focus, we've got a community in El Paso that got behind it. We're going dual language across the entire district, and we're really trying to push two-way dual language. And, and because then I think what we need to do as a country, and as a state, because this is important to us, is think about language acquisition and bilingualism, multilingualism as an economic fact. Nothing to do with race. It's economic development. It's building a stronger global workforce. I was able to live and work all over the world only because Spanish was our first language. I know, I don't know about Lena, but the three of us came to first grade not speaking English. And it's made a big difference in my life, the ability to speak multiple languages. Right. Let me right. tell you, in one year, so we made this decision two years ago with the community. We went, uh, in terms of our two-way dual language, I think we had just a couple of hundred kids in 2011 that were doing that. We're all the way up to uh, 6,300 kids. That means the majority of monolingual, English-speaking, black and white kids are jumping into the dual language program. We're making this amazing transition in just two years where the majority of our classrooms in elementary were monolingual English, and now we're switching to where they're, they're dual two-way dual language classrooms. That means that those parents understand that it's an economic issue. We're, we're talking about um, English language, uh, English, English as a second language, and, and, and providing education to people in, in two languages at, at the same time as well. Um, you know, trying to, to bring the, this, this population of, of, of Texans and people in El Paso, people in Texas, that, that um, you know, their, their first language is Spanish, uh, and and when they get into the schools, it, you know, it may be more difficult for them, obviously, because they're learning in a different language. And so, I think we need to definitely uh, spend a lot more money in in this community and this state on on um, providing those those children with the tools to be able to succeed, just as just as well as somebody who you know was was born and 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 raised speaking in, in, in English.